Hello and welcome to Food Heals once more. Watch this movie to find out what the top officials in China and Britain consumed and how they lived. Let's try to live a healthy lifestyle like they do. China prepares and consumes meals using a wide range of ingredients, leading to jokes like everything with four legs can be cooked except for a desk. But the circumstances don't seem to support this. Jiang Zemin, the recently dead Chinese leader, was a long-lived figurehead who reached the age of 96. It is significant that other Chinese leaders, besides Jiang Zemin, also live long lives. Chinese citizens are likewise very interested in the medical practices used by these leaders. For instance, the Chinese people were shocked when the media learned of China's supreme leader's diet in 2013. The expectation of eating fine cuisine created with premium ingredients was not met by their diet because it was unfancy. China Newsweek spoke with Zheng Suyuan, the nutritional health specialist in charge of the Chinese Supreme Leader's Diet, in order to report on the peculiarities of his diet. Top Chinese officials typically eat a variety of meals in tiny portions. The number of foods was reportedly between 25 and 30, and they weren't very unique, rather, they were everyday things that regular people might come across. And it is stated that their dietary habits consisted of consuming very little of these things. I'll demonstrate one diet that was featured in the media. Half a cup of milk, seasoned seaweed, carrots, green peppers, flour bread with peanut sauce, a bowl of millet porridge, or steaming rice are the typical breakfast items. A bowl of several clay pots for lunch, along with some red bean rice or coleslaw rice, should have more than 10 components. Fish balls, radish, and millet porridge are the dinner course. Top Chinese officials admitted to snacking between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Yogurt or fruit served as snacks. They may be dining less extravagantly than you realize. Nutritionists advise consuming more foods with three or fewer legs compared to meals with four legs. In other words, the best animal is a fish without legs, followed by a duck or chicken with two legs, and the worst animal is a cow or pig with four legs. Chinese cuisine is typically prepared by frying or stirring frying. In contrast, the majority of the leader's recipes steam or boil their components. The diet was mostly high in fiber, low in sodium, and low in fat. For the benefit of their brains, leaders ate beans, almonds, sesame seeds, walnuts, and wine. Next, let's have a look at the Queen of England's daily routine. Queen Elizabeth II of Britain passed away recently at the age of 96. The Queen held the throne for 70 years and 127 days, making her the second longest reigning monarch in history and the longest British monarch. The Queen lived a long, disease-free life while simultaneously doing tremendous things as a ruler. Despite being 90 years old, the Queen is reportedly in good enough health to carry on with her duties. One of the richest ladies in the world was Queen Elizabeth. However, she led a modest life, and his food was reputed to be straightforward. The Queen reportedly began her mornings with porridge or yogurt and a cup of Earl Grey tea. She also reportedly occasionally had toast with marmalade. For lunch, they consumed grilled chicken or fish with a salad, and for dinner, they consumed venison, pheasant, or fish. The diet was not extremely high in carbohydrates. Former royal chef Darren McGrady claimed that the Queen followed these straightforward diets and daily routines in a 2017 interview with CNN. The Queen admitted that while she had the freedom to consume whatever she pleased, she preferred to live a modest life and believed that moderation was the key to being healthy. But the Queen also relished the occasional, little deviations. The Queen frequently consumes small amounts of alcohol and enjoys afternoon tea with finger sandwiches and cakes between lunch and dinner. He claimed that her engaged in physical hobbies like walking with her pet Welsh corgis or riding horses rather than modern activities like yoga or running. The Queen had a set bedtime and wake-up time of 11 p.m. and 7.30 a.m., respectively. The Queen is still alive. The 23 Lifestyles of Britain's Longest Living Monarch by Brian Kozlowski introduces practices that the Queen can engage in to keep her physical and mental health. He was first and foremost devoted to his task. The Queen spent hours each day reading official documents and attending hundreds of public engagements each year. Second, living for others was a way of life. She has sponsored various charities since becoming queen and served as an example for others. Thirdly, we had some free time to rest. There was a lot of tension because the queen's reign was lengthy, she had to handle numerous crises, and the responsibility was great. 
On such occasions, the queen frequently paid a visit to the country house because she liked being outside. The queen used afternoon tea as a stress-relieving break. And finally, the queen didn't smoke. In her entire life, the queen has never smoked a cigarette. Due to illnesses brought on by smoking, the queen's sister, father, uncle, grandfather, and great-grandfather all had to pass away. We discussed the British Queen's lifespan with senior Chinese officials. Did you anticipate possessing a unique longevity secret? The key to longevity, in my opinion, is to eat less, get enough sleep, experience less stress in daily life, and engage in moderate physical activity. Would I declare that I love my present and everyday life if I had to add one thing? I appreciate you coming. If you enjoyed watching this, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel to see more content just like it. In order to ensure that you don't miss any of our movies, be sure to enable the bell notification.